What's going on, Master Duel fans? James Polk here. Happy Friday. We got us some glorious challenges for you guys. So, first things first. Activates Dream Mirror Phantasms. So, okay. First time ever up against Dream Mirrors. So, the mission of the deck revolves... Yeah, revolves around the field spells Dream Mirror of Joy and Dream Mirror of of terror and as long as they exist somewhere on the field it doesn't matter who they gain supernatural effects so if dream mirror of joy exists somewhere on the field 500 attack and defense boost to your monsters if dream mirror of terror exists somewhere in the field zone all monsters your opponent controls lose 500 attack and defense and to top it off when this card is activated, it is literally Fire Formation Tanky for Dream Mirror Monsters. Hard once on the activation. Adding Phantasos, the Dream Mirror Foe. If this card is special summoned by a Dream Mirror Monster, it can direct attack this turn. During the main or battle phase, if Dream Mirror of Joy exists somewhere on the field, as a quick effect, tribute this card, special summon one Phantasos, the Dream Mirror friend from your deck. Each effect of foe hard ones. Fires off Droll, wasn't too sure about where this leads to. So normal summons, Phantasos, foe, and sets one. Activates instant fusion. Mud Dragon of the Swamp. I felt like this field is literally no harm for now. Mud Dragon, make it Earth. Spirit Charmers, Ditch, Dark Ruler. Grabs Awakening, sets Partnerships. Activates Awakening Spell. Normal Summons also. Two into Lightning Storm, but we got face ups. Also, and Mud Dragon for a Reaper. Reaper, revive Mud Dragon for the sake of the boost. Inari over foe and ooh, Stormy Mirror Force. A Shatter Foil. Sto Stormy Mirror Force at its finest. A Royal Flash at it. Sets one could be literally anything. Foe goes for the attack, but Asa is getting brought back off from partnerships. Awakening drew into Hida. Normal summons Hita. Awakening draws another lightning storm. Special Zanari. Send it two for Reaper. Reaper revives Asa once again. Inari over foe. Asa over. Ikelos, the Dream Mirror Mara. If this card is special by the effect of a Dream Mirror Monster, you can special one Dream Mirror Monster from the hand except a copy of itself during the main or battle. If Dream Mirror of Joy exists somewhere in the field zone, tribute this card, special summon one Ikelos, the Dream Mirror Sprite straight from deck. And then the effect of Ikelos, the Dream Mirror Mara, hard ones. Reaper gets in for 26. Also for Artemis. Also and Reaper for Line of Link. Reaper search unpossessed. Sets the two possessed traps. Lipsa unpossessed. Sets one. Activates partnerships. Revise also. Kill the Dream Mirror Phantasms. And Awakening drew into win. Drew into Duster. No back row. Normal summon win. Awakening drew into Lina. This deck plays Morphing Jar number two? That's crazy. Wow. 
if anyone knows the history of morphing jar in general like these guys they just literally love to do some shenanigans when it comes to their flip effects so in this one for morphing jar number two well first of all salute to you for playing this secret spice of a tech shuffle all monsters everywhere on the field into the deck then each player excavates cards from the top of their deck until they excavate the number of same well same number of monsters they shuffled into the main deck special all excavated level four or lower monsters in face down defense also send the remaining cards to the grave wow Everybody gets shuffled back and Dark Ruler gone. Nefarious. Ash. Partnerships. Going out of there. And Bell. The two hand traps and Nefarious. All of them face down defense. Wow. I can't believe someone actually played Morphing Jar number two. That is downright re ridiculous flips of all three normal lina awakening drew into dark special renryu exceed shokun into full-time pepper operative flips up nayroy the dream mirror disciple okay so this is the light uh dream mirror of sorts if a dream mirror monster or monster is more than one is on the field special summon this from your hand then you can make this card become dark if this card is special summoned by the effect of a dream mirror monster activate this if dream mirror of joy exists somewhere on board return one spell trap your opponent controls back to the hand also after that if dream mirror of terror exists Somewhere on the field, draw one card, then shuffle one card from your hand into the deck. Wow. And each effect of Nayroy, the Dreamer Disciple, hard ones. And that is game against Dream Mirrors. this next clip of this challenge looking at this hand I say it's really good so for reasoning by the way your opponent declares a level from 1 to 12 excavate from the top of your deck until you excavate a monster that can be normal summon set then if that monster happens to be the same level as the one declared by it send all excavated cards to the graveyard if not special summon the excavated monster and send the rest to the grave all right, here we go with reasoning. I called three on this one. Apparently up against witchcrafters. So, Magician's Restage, it's basically Monster Reborn of a level three or lower spellcaster from your grave, and it can only be used once. And not once per turn, First chance it gets sent to the graveyard, it lets you add one magician's continuous spell from deck to hand, except restage. So I caught on three and hitting Witchcrafter Schmieta, you know, one level off, so close. Restage, getting magician's, magician's right, the one that locks out spells. Activates Magician's Right, Chain Schmieta, Chains Unveiling, Unveiling for Madame Vare, Schmieta for Hain, and Right Hand Sticks. Schmieta 
Foolish Burials, Witchcrafter by Streets, Holiday comes back to hand, and by Streets being placed back to the field. So it is full knowledge, but one card unknown. Fires off Fairy Tale Tales as the first spell chains the Hain not only to destroy the car, but due to right hand mandatory negate fairy tale tales. Specials Pancratops. Mind controls the Hain. Specials Nefarious. Send a two for Reaper. Madame Ver negates all of them. Chains Pancratops to spot removal the Ver and chain four spirit charmers to get the advantage all but witchcrafter players scooped as I eventually got the opponent running out of steam. And this next clip of this challenge, looking at this hand, all I can say is it's about to be downright crazy. So, White Stone of Ancients for Link Rebo, Reborns, Stone of Ancients out of nowhere. Send the two together. Ristron, Halky Fibrax. Specials off Stone of Ancients. Tribute off Stone of Ancients for Link Rebo. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon. If this card is special summon, add one ritual spell or poly from deck to hand. During your end phase, you can add one level eight or higher dragon from deck to hand. You can banish this card from your graveyard. All level eight or higher dragons you control gain a thousand attack each effect of Blue Eyes Abyss once per turn and can only activate them while Blue Eyes White Dragon is on your field or in your graveyard. Okay, so I'm literally convincing to myself he's gotta be adding in the Chaos Max, which is the usual suspect for Blue Eyes players. Chaos Form. Chaos Max. Activates Lightning Storm. Chains Halky Fibrax. For Formula Synchron. As for Formula Synchron, we know what's up with that card during the Synchro days. When this card is Synchro Summon, thanks to Halky Fibrax treating it as a Synchro Summon, draw a card. Once per chain, during your opponent's main phase, you can, as a quick effect, immediately after this effect resolves, put up a Synchro Summon by using this card. Instant Fuse. Chains Formula. Okay, so a level 10 Synchro. Whoa ho ho! Baron de Flu. Instant Fuse in 2000 Eyes. So at this rate, Baron de Fleur exists. We have to Dark Ruler and Mind Control the Baron. Baron tries to negate it, but Dark Ruler kept Baron in check. Restrict into Artemis. Artemis and Baron for win. When Link our Baron de Fleur. Question is, how long can we wait for the negate? Banishing three lights. 
for a Chaos Dragon Levianir. Half Chaos Dragon Levianir only banishing lights. Monster Reborn, one graveyard in defense. If it would have been only dark to banish all three, non target, shuffle one random card from your opponent's hand into the deck. If it's both light and dark in any combinations, for a total of three, does not target, destroy up to two cards. Reborn's Blue Eyes. These two links for Dragonity Knight Romulus. And as for Dragonity Knight Romulus, two dragons and or wing beasts to make it. If this card is Link Summon, which it did, add one Dragonity Spell Trap or Dragon Ravine from deck to hand, I'm convincing Dragon Ravine. If a dragon monsters more than one is special from extra where the zone points to outside of the damage step special one dragon or wing beast from your hand in defense but for the rest of the turn its effects if any are negated and can't be used as link material each effect once per turn Edge dragon ravine there it is once per turn discard one activate one of those add one level four or lower dragonity from deck to hand, otherwise, send one dragon from dead to graveyard. Activates Ravine. Ravine ditching Chaos Form. Ditching Absorouter Dragon. Absorouter Dragon gets the search of Rocket Tracer, so Blue Eyes Dragon Link. Summons Rocket Tracer. Kills off Romulus. Specials out Magna Rocket. These two together. Borload Savage Dragon. At this point, I pretty much have to negate Savage off from Baron de Fleur that we stole. And it gets killed on top of that. Raigeki's the board. Wind Link gets the regular win. Chaos form for Chaos Max. gets in there for 4,000. Anything I do in terms of setting a defense is pretty much game over. By the saving grace, top deck reborn. And out of all the monsters I chose to reborn was Artemis, because we need a light in this situation. Normal summon win, link the two for line of link, Line of Link, Steel, Blue Eyes Abyss. Line of Link and Blue Eyes Abyss for Selene. Ten spell counters. Remove the three. Special win. And out comes Access. Access over Chaos Max. Banish Artemis blows up Ravine, and partnerships set one as live. Top decks, Return of the Dragon Lords. Target one level seven or eight dragon monster in your graveyard, special it. If a dragon you control will be destroyed by battle or card effect, banish this card instead. Reborn. Borload Savage once again. And phase, partnerships activated, special win. Return saves Borlo Savage from destruction. Access banish line of link, and that is game. This next clip of this challenge, looking at this hand, fantastic. 
Planet Pathfinder gets a field spell. Ash keeps Planet Pathfinder. Okay, Cyframe Gear Gamma as Chain 3. Never mind about keeping Pathfinder in check. So what field spell? Figured, Numeron Network. So, in this case, up against Numerons. There's the wall. And as for Numeron Wall, if you control no cards at all except for Numeron Walls, as a quick effect, send this from hand or field to the grave, straight up activate one Numeron Network directly from the hand or deck, and then the effect of Wall Hard Once. When you take Battle Damage, special the Wall from hand, and if you do, end the Battle Phase after the Damage step. Network activates, sending the call. Specials out all four, and all four numbers share the same thing. Can't be killed by battle. At the end of the damage step, if this card battle an opponent's monster, detach one. Well, basically, this is Numeron's. They don't need no material when the field spell exists. Double the attack of all Numeron monsters you can currently control until the end of the turn. All four numbers getting in there for 1,000. All four numbers. Mech Knight, Crusadia, Avramax. We all know what's up with Mech Knight, Crusadia, Avramax. While this Link Summon card is on the field, your opponent cannot target this card within card effects. Also, monsters cannot target for attacks except Avramax. Once per battle, damage calc. If this card battles a special summon monster as a quick effect, this card gains that much attack equal to that opponent's monster's attack during that damage calc only. If this Link Summon card you control is sent to your graveyard by an opponent's card effect, Non-target shuffle one card anywhere on the field to the deck. And one set. Activates Dark Ruler. Just so that Avramax's effect ends up negated. Lightning Storm kill the back row. Hitting the twin, which is nice. Special to Pank. Mind Control Avramax. So. I know what everyone would say in the comments. You can't use cards to target Avramax. True, we had Dark Ruler in advance to prepare for that. Send the two together for Lina Link. Lina Link. Our Mech Knight now. And Reborn's Pancreatops. Not gonna lie though, those summoning animations are extremely amazing. Activates Numeron Network, uses the effect, Chain Pancratops, destroying the network, and the Numeron player scooped up. This next clip should be a surprising matchup. And right now it is a simplified state. Activate Spirit Charmers. Ditching the Reaper adds Hita. Setting soon to be flipped up Awakening Spell. Normal Hita. 
drew into win special gigabyte and ran ryu and surprisingly enough this is not lethal of all things Set one, partnerships is live, and we are raring to go. Activate Storm, killing my back row. Tribute Hita for Dogoran. Summons Shirinui Solitaire. Tributes itself for Unizombie. Ditches Mizuki off from Unizombie. Sending in. Oh! Vampire Void Vode. Level 8 Dark Zombie, 2800 attack and 2100 defense. And its effects are fairly straightforward with this guy. If this card is normal summon, target up to two monsters in your opponent's graveyard. Special summon those targets to your field in defense, but their effects are negated. Yeesh. When a monster's effect is activated while a monster with its same name is in the graveyards as a quick effect, negate it. So Omni negate in terms of same names. If a monster or monsters more than one is special from your opponent's graveyard, should be two monsters special summon this card from your graveyard. Okay, that is absolutely gross. You can only use each effect of vampire Void Vode once per turn. And side note, fantastic card artwork of Void Vode, by the way. Mizuki revives the biggest vampire Void Vode, but Ghost Bell keeps Mizuki in check, not allowing that vampire to stick the landing. And opponent is going to Kamikaze in style with a whopping 3900 dogaran that he gave for game And last but not least in this clip. Okay, up against Metaphys. Each turn, one level five or higher Metaphys can be normal without tribute, but banish it during the end phase of the next turn. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to your Metaphys monster effect activations. So in other words, there's no point of stopping Metaphys monster effects in general in any shape or form. Activates Ace and Metaphys. Ditches Metaphys Daedalus to draw one. Activates another Ace and Metaphys. And this man hard opens three Ace and Metaphys, but gets rid of one just so he can keep the two on board. Wow. So. The Ace of Metaphys. Once per turn, banish one Metaphys card, spell trap included, from your hand, and if you do, draw one. Once per turn, if your Metaphys card, spell trap included, and its owner's possession is banished, apply the following effect based on whose turn. So instead of the your turn or opponent's turn, Metaphys player's turn, all monsters everywhere on the field lose 500 attack and defense except Metaphys. Opponent's turn, change the battle positions of all monsters everywhere on the field except Metaphys monsters. Summons out Metaphys Decoy Dragon. It's Pendulum Effect. When your monster is targeting for an attack, you can target one of your Metaphys monsters that is banished or in your graveyard. Banish this card, and if you do, special summon that monster in a type position. During the standby phase of the next turn after this card was banished, special summon this banished card. So basically, the pendulum 
the pendulum and the monster effect is literally the same thing but the twist is the monster effect it gets to come back insanely nuts Daedalus, of course. Oh, almost forgot. When it comes to Metaphys monsters, most of them, if not all of them, their gimmick effect is anytime they banish, they get their deck shuffled, well, placed back into the deck from the banish pile, and then they get their supernatural effects. So Metaphys Daedalus, as it got shuffled back, And then, Metaphys Dimension. Banishing Ragnarok. And on top of that, uh, Metaphys Dimension. If your opponent specials a monster outside of the damage, they target one of your banished Metaphys monsters, special it back, but banish it during the end phase of the next turn. If your other Metaphys card, spell trap included, in its owner's possession is banished, while this card is already face up, in your spell trap zone, target one card your opponent controls, banish it. So basically, this is the Metaphys version of Dark Magical Circle. Ace of Metaphys triggers, but there's literally nothing. Activate to evenly match. Gets rid of everything but one Ace of Metaphys. Awakening and Fairy Tale Tales triggers. Normals Ren Ryu and goes right ahead after. Oh, and as for um, Metaphys Ragnarok, if this card is normal or special, banish the top three of your deck. And if you do, this card gains 300 attack for each Metaphys card banished by this effect. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, do not let this hit you, by the way. Special one, level five or higher, Metaphys from deck, but banish it during the end phase of the next turn. Each effect of Metaphys Ragnarok hard once. Ace of Metaphys, Ditching Tyrant Dragon. As for Tyrant Dragon, special summon by the effect of a Metaphys monster, can't be touched by traps. Also, it gets to make a second attack in a row, so Cyber Twin Dragon, of course. If this card is banished during the next standby, shuffle it back. Special one Metaphys, monster straight from hand, but banish it during the end phase of the next turn. Right, Geki's the Renryu. Game state is simplified. Normal summons in Ari Fire gets in there for 18. That's one. Okay, I'm literally convincing that's impermanence because he's going to shut off my awakening spells effects. Yeah, that's exactly what I figured. So instead of the uh, draw power and dealing major damage, it's regular damage the way it is now. And by the time the turn ends, attack is boosting up. Ace of Metaphys, Ditching, Metaphys Ascension. As for Metaphys Ascension here, discard one Metaphys card, draw one. Then if you banish one Metaphys monster, straight from deck. If this card is banished, add one Metaphys card, spell trap included from deck to hand, except Ascension. And then you can only use one effect of Metaphys Ascension per turn and only once that turn. One effect or the other can't do both. Ascension Banish effect just to search. Adds Ragnarok. Ragnarok activates. Ooh. Un Fortunate mills to the banish pile. Not only 
hitting the game-winning cards of D. Fisher, Macrocosmos, and Harpy's Feather Duster, but no bonus attack boost for Metaphys Ragnarok, which is quite a relief. My controls the Ragnarok, activates Macrocosmos in response, chains Spirit Charmers for Pancratops in Graveyard just in case if we somehow get Monster Reborn late game setup to revive Pancratops. Grabbing Dark sets a Partnerships Trap and steals the Ragnarok off from my control and that is lethal. Guys, that's gonna do it for those Platinum matchups. If you'd love to see more for the upcoming season, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell to keep yourself constantly updated, and I'll catch you guys next time. Later.